today lapi today upon to be the 26th sunday And the year, which implies that today is exactly the half of the year. For some of you, the Bible said, teach us to number our days that we might apply our heart unto wisdom. For some of us that has actually been counting well, if you can record, you know that we are close to the end of the year. The Lord was speaking to me uh, two days ago. Oh yes, yesterday in the morning and when we came here to pray before we went out for the evangelism, I was sharing with uh, our brethren that we are here for prayers. A few things I will be able to say, a few things I will say in the workers meeting maybe immediately after the service. We are going to have maybe just five minutes or three, four minutes meeting with the workers. The Lord did not say we are not praying well. People who know me know what I'm talking about. I do evaluation well. The easiest way to move forward is to take note of what you are doing. Check out what you are doing that is wrong check out what you are doing that you will need to trust God for more grace check out what you are doing that you really need to improve on when you are not doing this you will not move forward I'd like you to take today very seriously because the Lord commanded today the minister that will be leading us to do this mid-year Thanksgiving, he didn't come to me by accident. We have a lot of persons in mind to call. But the Lord laid in my heart that this should be the person. And please listen to me. When I did a review from the beginning of the year, the Lord did not say we are not praying enough. The Lord didn't say so. This year the, this church has prayed like never before. How I many of you agree with me? We pray two hours in tongues. We pray hours in tongues. The, our beautiful guys who stays in church, I know life is not easy for them. If you see some of them who are reducing in weight, it must be much more of prayers. Honestly and it's true. But please listen to me. It might be that you have prayed enough and yet some things are not happening. If you can genuinely be grateful to God, things will change. For some of us who have prayed well from the beginning of the year, some of us fasted. Now, I'm not saying this so that we'll go and relax in our prayers. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying this so that we'll actually know that God is mindful of us. God is seeing all our labor and God wants us to make progress. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 19. The Bible said, out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. And the voice of them that make merry and I will multiply. There is nothing that multiply people. There is nothing that multiply business. There is nothing that multiply life. There is nothing that multiply everything around our life, including answered prayer, like thanksgiving. Jeremiah 13 and verse 19, he said, Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry, and I will multiply. The Bible said, I will multiply them, they will not be few. I will glorify them, they will not be small. Even if as a church we will not be few, we need to be, we need to really give God thanks. A lot of persons died before the before they started January with us and they are not here today. Not that we are mocking them, but can I tell you something? It is him that work in us both to will to do for his good pleasure. Exactly two weeks ago, one of the pastors, dear pastor to us, lost 
the why I can begin to tell you all manner of things which I don't want to bore you the story. Somebody is saying my job is not working. Uh -oh. The Lord begin to speak to me now. First Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 10. The Bible said, Momo ye not, as they momo, and they were destroyed by the destroyer. He said, Momo ye not, as they momo, as they were destroyed by the destroyer. I like you to put on the spirit of joy this morning. It doesn't matter what is happening to you. Let me tell you this that many of us are alive and we are in the sanctuary, takes the grace of God. Among other things, I search to reflect on, I look at how many times I've cried this year. And I began to look at what really made me to cry. Oh, this person betrayed me. Oh, this person did this. Oh, this person did that. I'm happy I'm not crying because I'm burying someone. I'm happy I'm not crying because I'm hungry. I'm happy because I'm not running at a scatter over letting one member of the church. I'm happy that God is indeed faithful. Oh, what will be the basis of the cry is that I really want to move forward in few things and it's not happening. Oh, if that is the case, oh, God, is, God is faithful. Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. And the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply. Put on the spirit of joy. This morning. Forget what is not working. Forget the height. No, can I tell you this? There are people who know me closely. And few persons who are here. Know that there are some few aspirations I have of the year. That have even communicated with us from January. That I have not seen till now. But should that be the reason why I should say God is not faithful? If God will kill me tomorrow, you will not ask me for permission. You only wake up and say, Pastor is dead. But that if we are alive, the Bible says, I sleep and I wake for the Lord. Sustain it. it takes the sustaining power of God to sleep and to wake up. It takes the sustaining power of God to be alive at all times. It is God that works in us both to will, to do for his good pleasure. Can I tell you something, people? Be grateful today. We didn't only just come to dance. We have come to express our sincere gratitude to God. If you have your birthday for the first six months of the year, I think this will be your own mini birthday Thanksgiving. Where you're going to come before the Almighty God and thank Him for the new life. You say, my birthday was January, give Him thanks today. You say, it was February, give Him thanks today. It was May, March, give him thanks. It was April, give him thanks. And God, see you through June. And then you say, my birthday is just yesterday, two days ago, give him thanks today. Your wedding anniversary falling between these six days, give him thanks. God bless you with a baby within these six months, give him thanks. God bless you with academic breakthrough within six months, give him thanks. Among, above all, God gave you life. The Bible said, a living dog. He said, everyone that has life has hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. To him that is joined to the living, there is what? There is what? I'll read one scripture. I promise I'm not going to because we are going to dance for one hour. We'll be dancing for one hour. Let me check. Let me show you one scripture. Jeremiah chapter 13. What the Lord will do today and Psalm 138 and verse 8 the Lord laid that in my heart before I came he said for the Lord will perfect all that concerns you I thought your amen would be better than this now believe me everyone doing business here your business will move forward every career person your career will change heights Every one person, whatever thing, whatever that you are doing, believe what I'm telling you by the Spirit of the Living God. When we give God thanks, things multiply. Now let's start from verse 19, and I'll read down verse 23. Maybe I'll yes, maybe I'll read verse 23. He said, "For out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry, I will multiply. I will multiply them, and they will not diminish. I will glorify them; they will not be small." Their children also shall be as before me. Their congregation shall be established before me. And I will punish all who that oppress them. So when we are giving God thanks today, the Lord is saying that our children will be before God and our congregation will be established before him. And he said he will punish everyone that oppress any one of us. Somebody say loud amen to them. Everyone oppressing you, the Lord will punish them. 
If you are a man, can be louder than that of your neighbor. You are the one I'm talking to. In the name of Jesus, the resurrected Lord, everyone that is oppressing you, may the Lord punish them. Everything oppressing your finances, may the Lord punish them. Everything, everything oppressing your marriage, may the Lord punish them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, their nobles shall be among them. Meaning the Lord will begin to raise nobles among us. He said, their nobles shall be among them. And their governor shall come from their midst. Then I will cause him to draw near. And he shall, be, he shall approach me. For who is this? Who pledges heart to approach me? Says the Lord. He said, you shall be my people. And I will be your God. You shall be my people and I will be your... Now, listen to this. You see, the benefit of thanksgiving, you are not just dancing for fun. We are not dancing for fun. We have come to establish a covenant that will be a reality in our life that will never forget in a hurry. When we give God thanks, he said he will multiply. And as God multiplies, he said we will not diminish, neither we are going to be small. He said our children will enjoy safety before him. Her congregation will be established and he will punish anyone that is oppressing us. He said from then God will not begin to bring nobles from us. Many quality people, important people will proceed from us. There is somebody at the anointing to break forth into unlimited possibilities will rest upon you today in the name of Jesus Christ. You are not saying amen. There's somebody here married to hit her. There is a fear. I, I said I didn't want to preach. I, I'm, I'm seeing someone here. I'm seeing a mandate over your life that is bigger than the level you operate. I'm seeing you at the gate. But all he's saying you are a manager. Things are just working contrary against you and you are playing away with time. I hear the Lord said there is a man to come upon you today. Everyone that has oppressed you, the Lord will punish them. He said, the anointed to become the noble will now rest upon you like never before. If you are saying, Amen, let your hear me be loud and clear. He said, Governor shall come from our midst. Then I will cause them to draw near. Then means the Lord will call us into fellowship. And he said, who are these people that has approached unto me? He said, the Lord. He said, I will be, he said, you shall be my people. And I will be your what? And I will be your God. Now, look at this. If God be for you, the question is who can be against you? I, I was telling someone yesterday, about, about two days ago, I said, can I pray for you that you will not have my own kind of trouble? A pastor came here sometimes ago and he said, oh, pastor, he said, you are doing this well, you are doing that well. I said, is that all you see? I said, see the trouble. But I know a God that even in the midst of trouble, He will always raise people. I know a God that look as if you have come to your hand and yet you will come to her. You see, those who are working against you are meaningless. Believe me. If God be for you, who can be against you? He said, you shall be my people and I will be your God. The meaning of that is whoever cannot fight God cannot fight you. And everybody trying to fight you, they are dead meat already. Believe this. Believe this. One wicked uncle has said, over my dead body, would you get married? Don't worry. Even your wedding ceremony will be on top of the grave. Believe me. When God becomes your God, anything that is trying to fight you is subdued before you. Glory to God. Let me read verse 23. And then, we'll, and then we'll invite our minister to lead us. He said, Behold, the wild wind of the Lord goes forth with fury. I love this. Yeah, this is what I want. I want, really want to emphasize on this a little. He said, Behold, the wild wind of the Lord goes forth with fury. A continuous and a wild wind. It shall fall violently on the head of the wicked. It shall fall violently on the head of who? Now, are you following? Out of that shall proceed thanksgiving, and the verse of them that make many and I will multiply. 
And he said, your children will be as for me and the congregation will be established before me. He said, you will punish those that oppress you. He said, the Bible said, he said, your noble shall come from among you. Governors will proceed from you. He said, you shall be my people and I will be your God. And God did not end there. He said, behold. Anytime you see behold, in Yoruba, they say, ki esi. Oh. Ki esi means give attention. Behold. He said, give attention. The meaning is give attention. He said, the white wind of the Lord goes forth with fury. The wind of the Lord will come out with anger. This talk about vengeance. Kamosi atayata. Fekurate you. Kebari ateke. Is there anyone who loves as if you have been in a situation too long? And you need the God of vengeance to arise for you. But please dance. I'm happy, but Larry is here. We visited the village together sometimes back, and then there is this particular dance. They used to dance in that village, and then they need to drink alcohol before they dance. They would drink alcohol, and they would begin to, even little, little children, they would need to drink some kind of bottles, and then they, there's a particular kind of drum, and hey, I'm this person who tried to observe things. And I saw that their dance is kind of similar, the bottle serve is similar. Ah, so I got the bottle is true, yeah. I said, uh, you were there. The bottle was green and it was similar. And their dance was similar, the kind of dance. And I began to observe. And something dropped in my spirit that this dance is actually to provoke a spirit. Now let me say this. The devil's dance is to provoke the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Dancing is very spiritual. I wish there's time. But I said I'm going to. I'm not going to preach today. I have a lot of troubles that I'm trusting God to help me with. So, so I want to dance also. Now believe me, it's true. Uh, I want to dance also, and I want this to actually happen. Verse 23 is actually my own. I don't know which one you can pick from 19 to 23. Pick the one that is suit your case. But verse 23 is my own. He said, "Behold." Here you see, the white wind of the Lord goes with fury. A continuous white wind it shall fall violently upon the head of the wicked. So the moment, and this actually confirms Psalm 149. The moment you begin to dance before the Almighty God, you are actually propelling a white wind from God that is coming with fury and is resting upon every wickedness against your life. Now listen to this. I said this before. For some of you, I converse with few of our messages here that I preach about praise. Praise is a language in the spirit that communicates something to God. Psalm 15 and verse 23. He said, Psalm 15 and verse 23, the last verse there. He said, He that order his conversation and I will last show. He said, He that offer their praise, yes. He said, He that offer their praise, glorify me. To whom who order his conversation and right will I show my salvation. I got a revelation from there that praise is a language in the spirit that communicates something to God. So when you are dancing, according to the things that the Lord has promised us today in thanksgiving, giving God glory for the last six months, trusting God for the six months that is ahead, among other things that the Lord will do is that the Lord God of vengeance will arise for your sake. And it's going to come with fury. And this white wind will rest upon the head of the wicked. Glory, glory to God. So this morning, do your best to dance well. Don't let the usher deceive you. Amen? Nah. If the usher tells you you should stick to your seat, you don't mind them. Tell the usher that they don't have my permission. If you can dance to the back, dance to the front, and dance like them, even if you need to remove your regalia, just remove the one that you understand what I'm saying. Uh -huh. Don't remove the one that you understand what I'm saying. All right. Glory to God. So that we dance before the Almighty God. Now, listen to me. Do this. The Lord did not condemn us as a church that we are not praying enough. He didn't tell me that. Among other things, the Lord told me is we need to be grateful enough. Thanksgiving is not what you do when things are fine. 
Thanksgiving is what you do to provoke what you want to see. Yeah. The meaning of thanksgiving is to give God thanks for what you want to see. Have you not read? In Philippians chapter 4. He said, be anxious for nothing. With prayer and supplication and thanksgiving, make your request. So thanksgiving is what you make your request No unto God. It's not what you do when things are fine. Somebody say, I've applied for a job. They have not come in. That's how to do it. I have done somebody to be pregnant before. There was some woman who was attending our church sometimes ago. And then she's been married for four years. And then there was no distance when they joined the church. I remember that day I wanted to preach on fruitfulness. We were praying. We were fasting and praying in church. And then I put the name of the woman on the floor and I began to dance around it. I danced for two hours only. I remember, I remember that, that little room. I danced for two hours and the Lord said, Stop. I had God. I have an understanding that praise is a language in the spirit. I, said, I had God. I said, Stop. And I stopped. He said, She'll be pregnant. He said, But tell her not to speak against the pastor. Don't let me bother you that rest of the story. I remember. One of our bishop wife was terribly sick. Terribly sick that everybody was afraid she would die. I woke up early in the morning. I would lock my room, remove all my clothes. And I'd be dancing. I danced and I danced around. When it was the, when it, on the 18th day, you see, you see, some of you think this thing happens by chance. It doesn't happen by chance. It happens with consistency. Not that you dance. Some of you dance 10 minutes and you are tired. No. God said one hour prophetic praise. We'll do it. One hour. Amen. Don't dance five minutes and say no. You see, from my place, you know they dance like that. No, leave your place. Amen. He said they are not singing the kind of song that I like. Okay. Like the beat. He said the beat did not follow what I like. Okay, like yourself. Dance for yourself. Amen. All right. On the 18th day, I was dancing before the Almighty God. On 18th day, that's the first day, that's the second day, and the Lord says, Stop. I had God. He says, Stop. Now, when God tells you, Stop, it means you have done enough. How many of you have ever prayed before and God will tell you it's enough? You need to dance to that level. I don't even know plenty of songs that time. I didn't know plenty of songs. And I danced before the Almighty God. And then the Lord told me, Stop. And I stopped. When I stopped, He said, For you to know that I had you. I'm quoting God now. He said, For you to know that I had you. So, 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 so day, so, so, so day, the wife of this pastor will be in this meeting. And I went to that meeting. I saw the, I saw the woman truly. Truly that God answered prayer. Now look at this. I never prayed. I danced. And I think. God is beginning. I think for the rest of this year, we'll be having more prayer services. God has not told me. I think I'm telling myself. Yeah, because something begins to minister to me right now. It's, as I want to round up, the Lord minister a story to me. One day, Kenneth Copeland came to Kenaland, the headquarters of Living Faith Church. And he said, We taught you faith. He was speaking to Bishop Boydoko. He said, We taught you faith. How come this church is this? He said, and Bishop replied, Bishop said, I danced one of all these members to this church. So, I think we'll start dancing member now. I said, I, this story just came to me. You can dance things into the reality into your life. You are not dancing for fun. For some of you who are close to Nollywood and close to some local, local practices, you know the kind of drum. They call it sacred drum. You know the kind of song they call it sacred song. You see, this is our own sacred song. Whosoever offered praise, Psalm 50 and verse 23. Whosoever offered praise, glorify me. To whom who order his conversation aright, will I show the salvation of God? Praise is a language in the spirit that communicates something to God. Rest in your faith. In our midst today, we have a wonderful mystery. It's not a new person to us as it's, uh, maybe some of us who are new in church. And then for the sake of our online audience, we have in our midst today uh, Minister Joy Faraday. It's been a blessing, an amazing blessing to us. Thank you for clapping. Oh, turn around. Is that the best we can do? Let's clap in honor. So, she'll be leading us in praises and in worship 
for the next 60 minutes. I beg you in the name of Jesus, dance. Be grateful to God for yourself. Just for yourself. How many of you begged to eat last night? Let me see. Her. Glory to you. See, why, why are we not grateful? Why are we not grateful? How many of you borrowed the clothes you wore to come to church? This one, they dash me, but at least I wore it. Amen. Glory to God. At least it's, it's not, no, it's now my own. Amen. Ah, glory to God. So, how many of you borrow your shoe to come? You see? You see? You, I, I mean, you, you, God is faithful. But if that is not working, does not mean it will not work. Can I say amen to that? Please don't allow the usher to confide to your seat. In case you need to dance past your neighbor, you can escape and then dance around. Can I say amen to that? Who we'll put hands together as a welcome? Mr. Joe Fire did this morning. Are we clapping for Jesus? Are we clapping for is that the best we can do? Is that the best we can do? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Good morning, church. I know someone is not cajoling you into dancing this morning. No one is cajoling you into praising God this morning. Let lift those hands and begin to bless His holy name this morning. Let lift those hands and begin to exalt Him. Let lift those hands and begin to worship Him. Let lift those hands and begin to give Him praise. He's worthy of our praise. He's worthy of our thanks. The Redeemer, the Superman King, the Abba, Father, that we know that we give you praise this morning, that we give you praise this morning, because there is no other God that can receive your praise. Father, we bless you. Father, we bless your name. Father, we worship you. 